All right, ladies and gentlemen. So we are going to go through the angle base. Now, the reason why we are working with angles is because I want you guys to know how to type in angles. Sometimes you're only going to have 45 degrees angle. Well, not necessarily 45 degrees, but you're going to just have a angle labeled and no measurement. Okay. Now, I don't want you guys to ever assume that this is equal. Okay. I don't want you to assume that this point right here is three because we have no measurement there. Now, we have a 45 degree angle, so we know what we have to do. Now, let's get to it. So, here's the drawing completed. I am going to erase this, delete. Now, I'm going to start off with creating a rectangle. So, I'm going to go here to my draw ribbon. You see this rectangle right here? I am going to click the drop down menu. You get to use rectangle, we get to use polygon. So I'm going to go to rectangle. Now, as you can see here, we have a rectangle with a width of eight and a height of six. Width of eight, height of six. So I'm going to go here. I'm going to make sure my ortho mode is on. Here we go. So I have it right here, right? So. This is going to be eight. We have to type in two different measurements. This is going to be six. There goes our base. Okay. Now, with that being said, let's get to the other lines. So we're going to have to create some offset lines because we have here center point, and then we have here four and a half inches up from the bottom, one inch up. So I'm going to go to construction layer. I'm going to type in X line. So I'm going to create one here. I'm going to create one here. Now, I also have to create an X line right here because we have to offset. Um, you can offset from this one right here, but it's up to you, okay? So now I'm going to do my offsets. I'm going to do the offset for the circle, find the center point, and also this point right here, this line, and then right here. So this center on the y direction shares the same measurement as two along with this line right here. Then we have to offset this line by three. Then we have to offset this line by one. We also have to offset the horizontal by 4.5. Now, just to let you know, I decided to work with inches on this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to offset it might be confusing because it might look like millimeters and it's not really distinguished, but I'm going to go with inches. So my first measurement is going to be two. We are going to offset this one by two. Then I'm going to offset this up by 4.5. There we go. So we have both of our X direction, I'm sorry, Y direction offsets. So two, 4.5, also two right here. So now I'm going to offset this by one. This horizontal, oh, I'm sorry, this vertical line right here by one, then this horizontal uh, vertical line right here by three. So let me get to that. One, three. Now we have our center point here, and we have the line where we can make the angled line at 45 degrees. So I'm going to go and create my circle first. Remember, we go to the circle command in the ribbon, sensor diameter. And we look at that. We find our intersection. Uh, sorry, I made a mistake. I'm going to go over to object layer property. We have our intersection constraint or perpendicular constraint right here. That's going to be two. Then we are going to do this again. This is going to be one. Press escape. Now I'm going to go up. Here, I'm going to click line. Now, we have to create this line right here. Okay. Now, I'm going to show you guys something. I want to create, uh, show you guys a new command that we haven't really used. I'm going to draw a line here just for the fun of it. Okay. That's our four and a half line. As you can see, our four and a half line stops right here at this angled line. Now, we don't necessarily have a dimension of the angled line, but we have 45 degrees. 
Now, we have to think of it like this. So I'm going to draw a straight line right here. Do not have to do this. Okay. Now, I want to create an angled line. So I'm going to turn off perfect, uh, ortho mode for this to create an angled line. So I'm going to do it from the midpoint, right? So as you can see here, we have 2.8529, and then we have 90 degrees, right? To change the angle, I'm going to press the tab button, press the tab. I want that at 45 degrees, right? But if we go like this, we don't get 45 degrees. So we have to do 180. I'm going to bring up my calculator. 180 minus 45. I'm pretty sure you guys have seen this in geometry, maybe even algebra. So we have to type in 135 degrees. So I'm going to type in 135. Now, if I do angular dimension, bring this up. I'm going to click this line and this line. Look at that. 45 degrees. Okay. So I'm going to delete this. Sorry. There we go. So I'm going to go back to my object layer property. Now, I do know that this line stops at this line. Oh, I'm sorry, this angled line right here stops at this straight line right here, right? So I had to understand that I don't have a measurement. So the easiest way to go about this is following the angle. So I'm going to create a line right here. Again, I do not have ortho mode on for this. And I like to bring it out here for some reason. Don't, again, don't assume that it's gonna be three or this intersection right here, right? I'm just gonna bring it out right here. I'm gonna press tab because I need the 135 degree that's there. I'm gonna press escape. Now, I'm gonna bring out, I'm gonna turn off my construction layer property first, okay? So I'm going to go to this uh, instrument right here, trim, and I'm going to select my line. Now, before trim used to be very difficult, but now it's very easy. So as you see, what I did there was I clicked the line and it trimmed it up to this perpendicular line right here. Now, the 4.5 inch line that we made, we also have to trim that. There you go. That's our drawing right there. Now. Don't forget, we have to create our center mark. To create our center mark, we go to our center layer property. We go to annotate. We go to center mark. I'm going to click the bigger circle. There you go. That's how you get that. Now, I'm going to dimension this um, because a lot of you are dimensioning, making minor mistakes with dimensioning, and that's okay because we're all beginners at this point but you guys are doing a great job. So I'm going to start dimensioning. I'm gonna minimize my screen, bring up the drawing, right? Here we go. Now, I'm gonna to go to linear. First one I wanna do is this point right here, 6.000. Then I'm going to do that again. I'm gonna bring it over here, 8.000. Now, I want to dimension this three. What I'm going to do is I'm going to select this corner endpoint right here, and I'm going to select this mark right here at the end. I'm going to bring it down, three. Same thing over here. I'm going to bring it from this endpoint to this point right here, two. Okay? So as you can see, the yellow is not going to the center mark, and you still see it's a center mark. Now, we also have to do... This center, uh, I'm sorry, this dimension right here, two. Uh, I have to do from here to here, 4.5. Uh, I have to do my diameter. So I'm going to change this over to diameter. Now, I'm going to bring this over here. Don't worry about that just yet, okay? Actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click this and then to move it, I'm going to drag it out. So right here. Let me turn on ortho mode to make sure it's straight. <laughs> All right, here we go. So 
I'm gonna bring that up a little now. I'm gonna bring the other dimension one inch. I'm gonna bring that about right here, okay? Now we also have to do the angled line. So to get the angled line, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to angular. I'm gonna select this line right here and this line right here. Look at that, I get 45 degrees, right? So that is it. Um, I'm going to change this up real quick to match the style that it has on the drawing itself. So I'm gonna go to dim style. I'm gonna go to modify. I'm gonna change my primary units. I'm gonna change my precision, okay? So as we know, we have one decimal point after the zero. So that's what I'm gonna do. Uh, I don't think we have any leading zeros. So I'm gonna keep, the, uh, keep this on, that's fine. There you go. And that's that. Make sure you take a screenshot with Windows Shift S. After you create the screenshot, you're all set. Take care.